Jayant takes 5 minutes to send 20 messages. On the other hand, Pranay takes 3 minutes to send the same 20 messages. In how many minutes they together will send the 20 messages? Makes a work easy. Let's solve questions of this sort. Time and work. In this concept, we'll understand the time taken to finish a work. Let's understand a few shortcuts. If A finishes a work in X days, then part of the work done by A in one day will be 1 by X. If he takes X days to finish the work, then the part of the work done by him in one day will be 1 by X and this will be vice versa. So if you know the part of the work done in one day, you can understand in how many days will he finish the work. And the second one is, if A is X times as fast or as good or as efficient as B, then the ratio of rate of working of A and B will be X is to 1 and the ratios of their time taken is 1 is to X. So if A is X times fast or as good or as efficient as B, then the rate of working ratio will be X is to 1. And on the other hand, the ratio of time taken will be the reciprocal of this, which is 1 is to x. How can we obtain the remaining work to be done? That is by subtracting the part of the work done from the total work. Let's understand a couple of formulae. Let's say if A finishes a work in x days, and B finishes a work in Y days. If these two work together, how many days will it take to complete the work? This can be obtained from the formula XY by X plus Y. And in the other case, let's say A takes X days to finish the work and A plus B, that is both together, take Y days to finish the same work then days to complete the work by B alone will be XY by X minus Y. Having understood the shortcuts and formulae, now let's solve the type 1 questions. Type 1, A and B can do a work in 12 days, B and C in 15 days and C and A in 20 days. If A, B and C work together, they will complete the work in. As we have understood earlier, if A takes X days to finish the work, then part of the work done in one day will be 1 by X. So from this, A plus B's one day work will be 1 by 12. Similarly for B plus C's, it will be 1 by 15 and C plus A will be 1 by 20. This given that if A, B and C work together, so on adding these three, 2 into A plus B plus C's one day work is equal to 1 by 12 plus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 20. On solving this, we'll be getting 1 by 5. On taking this 2 below, A plus B plus C's one day's work will be 1 by 10. This is a part of the work done by A, B and C in one day is asking for in how many days will they complete the work. So 1 by 10 is in this form. How do we convert like this? By reciprocating this. So A, B and C together finish the work in 10 days. This is the answer. Let's solve another question. A works twice as fast as B. If B can complete a work in 12 days independently, the number of days in which A and B can together finish the work is from the formula if A is X times as fast as B then ratio of rate of working will be X is to 1 and ratios of time taken will be 1 is to X. So A works twice as fast as B. So ratio of rate of work will be 2 is to 1 and ratio of time taken will be 
1 is to 2. It is given as B can complete a work in 12 days. So, B's work in one day will be 1 by 12. From this, if B's work is 1 by 12, then A's work in one day will be 1 by 6. He is asking for the number of days in which A and B together finish the work. First, let us find A plus B's one day's work, which is 1 by 6 plus 1 by 12. On solving this, we will be getting 1 by 4. This value is one day work. How do we achieve the number of days to finish the work? By reciprocating this. So, A and B together can finish the work in 4 days. A and B together can complete a piece of work in 4 days. If A alone can complete the same work in 12 days, in how many days can B alone complete the work? Let us solve this. It is given that A and B can complete the work in 4 days. So, their 1 day work will be 1 by 4. It is given that A alone can complete the work in 12 days. So, A's 1 day work will be 1 by 12. In how many days B alone can complete the work? That is by subtracting A from total value. So, B's 1 day work can be calculated by 1 by 4 minus 1 by 12 and you will be getting 1 by 6. This is B's 1 day's work. So, in how many days will he finish the work? That is in 6 days. Therefore, B alone can finish the work in 6 days. This is the answer. Hope you have understood the concept, formula and questions in this category. Let us understand questions related to efficiency. Sakshi can do a piece of work in 20 days. Tanya is 25% more efficient than Sakshi. The number of days taken by Tanya to do the same piece of work is. Let us try to solve this. As Tanya is 25% more efficient than Sakshi, ratio of rate of work of Sakshi to Tanya will be 100 is to 125. As Tanya is 25% more efficient than Sakshi. So, if rate of work ratio is 100 is to 125, then ratio of time taken will be the opposite of this that is 125 is to 100 and this on solving will be getting 5 is to 4. Now, let us see what is asked in the question. The number of days taken by Tanya to do the same piece of work. So, let us assume this as x. It is given that Sakshi can do the piece of work in 20 days and we have to find out Tanya's time to complete the work. Let us equate the time taken by Sakshi and Tanya. That is 5 by 4 is equal to 20 by x. This will become x is equal to 4 into 20 by 5. And on solving this, x will be 16 days. So, Tanya takes 16 days to complete the same work. If 12 men and 16 boys can do a piece of work in 5 days, 13 men and 24 boys can do it in 4 days, then the ratio of daily work done by a man to that of a boy is. Firstly, let us assume one man's one day work as x and one boy's one day work as y. It is given that 12 men and 16 boys can do a piece of work in 5 days. So, part of work done in one day will be 1 by 5. Similarly, 13 men and 24 boys can do it in 4 days. So, part of work done in one day will be 1 by 4. As one man's one day work is x and one boy's one day work is y, let us convert this statement into equations. 12x plus 16y is equal to 1 by 5, 13x plus 24y is equal to 1 by 4. On solving this, we will be getting x is equal to 1 by 100 and y will be 1 by 200. He is asking for the ratio of daily work done by a man to that of a boy. Therefore, required ratio will be x is to y that is 1 by 100 is to 1 by 200 and this will become 2 is to 1. This is the ratio.
we are done with category 2 with this lecture what would happen if a person leaves or quits from a work after a certain period of time let's know these kind of questions type 3 quitting from work questions a and b can complete a work in 15 days and 10 days respectively they started doing the work together but after 2 days b had to leave and a alone completed the remaining work the whole work is completed in so i have made this question into different parts for better understanding so a completed his work in 15 days so part of work done in one day will be 1 by 15 similarly b completed it in 10 days so his one day part will be 1 by 10 it is given that they started the work together but they had done it only for two days first let's calculate it for one day 1 by 15 plus 1 by 10 is equal to 1 by 6 this is a plus b's part of work in one day so for two days it becomes 1 by 6 into 2 which is 1 by 3 after this step b left and a alone completed the remaining work so how much is the remaining work let's take the total work as 1 and work done in 2 days is 1 by 3 so the remaining work is 2 by 3 as we know that a completed 1 by 15th of work in 1 day how many days will it take him to complete 2 by 3rd of the work on cross multiplication we will be getting 10 days but this is not the end he is asking the time taken for whole work to be completed so from the question for two days both a and b together completed the work and after two days a alone completed the remaining work so the time taken for a to complete the remaining work is 10 and before that a and b worked together for two days so the whole work will be completed in 10 plus 2 that is 12 days a and b can do a piece of work in 30 days while b and c can do the same work in 24 days and C and A in 20 days. They all work together for 10 days and when B and C leave. How many days more will A take to finish the work? A plus B one day work is 1 by 30. Similarly for B plus C it is 1 by 24 and for C plus A it is 1 by 20. It is given that they all work together. So 2 into A plus B plus C's one day work will be 1 by 30 plus 1 by 24 plus 1 by 20 which is equal to 1 by 8 on transferring this to the denominator a plus b plus c one day work will be 1 by 16 but they have worked together for only 10 days so for one day if it is 1 by 16 then for 10 days it will be 10 by 16 that is 5 by 8 this is the part of work done in 10 days now let's find out the remaining work to be done 1 minus 5 by 8 that is 3 by 8 as b and c left after 10 days a alone completed the remaining work so the remaining work is 3 by 8 the part so this work is done by a alone before this let's understand a's one day work you can achieve a's one day work by subtracting b plus c's work from the total work so a plus b plus c's one day work is 1 by 16 and b plus c's one day work is 1 by 24 therefore 1 by 16 minus 1 by 24 is equal to 1 by 48 this is work done by a in one day then 3 by 8 of work will be done in 48 into 3 by 8 that is 18 days this is the answer category 3 in time and work is done Let's solve some other questions in this lecture. Type 4. Other types of questions in time and work. A can do a work in 15 days and B in 20 days. If they work on it together for 4 days, then the fraction of work left is. Is asking us to find out the remaining work. So let's solve this. It is given that A can do a work in 15 days. Therefore, part of the work done in 1 day will be 1 by 15. Similarly, B can finish a work in 20 days. And part of the work done in one day will be 1 by 20. And in the second statement, it is given as if they work on it together. That is A plus B one day work, which will be equal to 1 by 15 plus 1 by 20. And this will be equal to 7 by 60. 
this is a part of the work done together in one day and what about for four days it is 7 by 60 into 4 which is equal to 7 by 15 having achieved this value let's find out the remaining work or the fraction of work left is equal to total minus 7 by 15 and this will be equal to 8 by 15 so the fraction of work left is 8 by 15 a b and c are employed to do piece of work for rupees 529 a and b together are supposed to do 9 by 23 of the work and b and c together 8 by 23 part of the work what amount should a be paid let's solve this a plus b that is a and b together had done 9 by 23 part of the work and b plus c have done 8 by 23 part of the work we need to find out a share before knowing a share we need to find out work done by a how do we figure out the work done by a that is by subtracting b plus c from the total value that is 1 therefore 1 minus 8 by 23 becomes 15 by 23 so work done by a is 15 by 23 here the total amount is given from this amount we need to find out a share therefore a share will be 15 by 23 into 529 and it is rupees 345 this is a share that is the end of time and work concept thank you